What's up guys, this is the Kung Fu Guy here and today I'm gonna do a re-request video for a friend of mine, a new friend, the Great Bear. He's also a YouTuber who makes videos about martial arts. He's, he's using the Jet Kung Do, I'm using the Charlie Foot. And today I'm gonna talk about how to train your peripheral vision, some exercises you can do. Well, mostly if you want to, to improve yourself not only in the peripheral vision but in everything you can always do a sparring and f or fight someone and that will absolutely absolutely make you much better but if you're in my case like right now that I'm alone how how can you train your peripheral vision well there is few few exercises you can do and they're pretty easy they're not costing any money all you need is about two balls even one is good enough but the main thing is something small circle uh, a tennis ball or a juggling ball is fine but the point of it is that it's light but and it's in the size of my palm so I can grab it pretty easily no matter what and I'm going to show you some exercises you can do to improve your peripheral vision and your speed first of all I want to explain you exactly what is the limited of the peripheral vision. If you look around with your eyes, the top, the most upper point you can see with your eyes, it's the peripheral vision limit. And that means if you focus on something very high, like my head exactly right here is the is now the limit of my of my vision, not my peripheral, but my focused focused vision and now if I'll take my eyes back down I can still see my hand if I'll back up or down it's the same thing I can still see it I can see my hand I can see my fingers moving and so as works for downward and to the left to the right the limit of what you can see when you're focusing is also the limit of what you can see when you're looking straight forward and using your peripheral vision so you can take your hands to the side and try to see where, where exact, exactly you cannot see them anymore but try to focus on both the, of your hands when, but while looking forward of course if you can do that it means that you understand your peripheral vision your is limits and that will help you either in a, in a combat when you need to know exactly what, the, what are the limits of your vision but mostly it's important for this exercise I'm going to show you so, the exercise I'm going to show you, the first one is pretty easy. Just throw the ball, but keep it in your vision, but don't focus on the ball. Focus on something else, like I'm focusing right now on the camera. And if this one is easy for you, you can try to do a backward catch, which showed, seems like that. But you catch the ball in this position, it's a bit harder because Unlike that, the gravity is not helping you, it's just making it part button. You should catch the ball like that while slamming it, hitting it hard with your palm and then close your fingers together. That's a bit harder and that's what make this exercise a bit difficult. Remember not focusing on on the ball because then it will be much easier. Now if this one is easier for you, you can try to tr throw the ball higher than your peripheral vision can see it and that what that does you throw that there is a point that you can still see it but then it goes too much high and from there you cannot see it but when it came back come back down you can start see it when it gets inside your vision and then you can look uh, locate it and catch it with your arm your hand so like that I'm, so I'm going to show you that's a bit hard harder because I can't really see the ball only in the last second and if that's easy for you, which is after a few training it should be you can try to do the same while catching the ball this way anyway, I'll show you now some exercise you can do, you do with two balls well, while using two balls it's a bit harder because you need to focus on two balls instead of one while focusing on one, you only see one yellow dot in your peripheral vision but when using two balls you should focus on their both and that means that even if you will try to focus on one of them and you won't focus on the other you just fall down and you cannot catch it 
So that's really an exercise that only using the, your peripheral vision you can do, unless if you are really fast and you can catch the one and catch the other and focusing on their, on both of them, but that's really hard. What you're gonna do right now, you just try to throw those two in the air and catch them. It shouldn't, uh, uh, it shouldn't be that much hard. Ex the, the easier way to do it is by keeping your eyes in the level of the ball. If the ball is going up, you're going, you're going to look exactly in the middle of them. And what that does, it makes it a bit easier to catch them. But if you will look at something like the camera I'm using, looking right now, it's a bit harder to control it. Sometimes you fail, sometimes you can succeed. This one is pretty easy, but of course it takes a bit of training to, to accomplish. There is a few difficult things you can do it, such as, such as switching the balls in the air. That's you can you cannot see it in the camera, but what I'm doing actually is I'm throwing and switching the hands of the ball. If this one is easy for you, you can always use like I said before the back the back hatch and throw them together and catch them like that. For me, it's a bit easier because I'm much much it's much easier to be to catch the ball like that than like that because I'm I'm less dependent on the gravity and more on my speed. That's also developing your punch. Like if you're doing a punch, then it will come even faster if you'll do it with a ball. But of course, don't focus on the balls. And when I'm saying not focusing on the balls, I mean try to not look at the ball, and you can see that I can't read what is written here. I cannot I cannot read it because I'm not focusing on it. And you should should and so do you. Only if you're looking at the ball, you can see exactly what is written here. But you shouldn't be doing that, and if this exercise I just showed you is easy for you, which is switching the balls and catching them like that, if it's easier you can ex again look straight forward without looking at the, at the line of the balls. And if that one is easy for you, there is the, the, final, the final exercise that I'm going to show you today, which I said before is the difficultest one, I cannot master it at all. I just I tried a bit, but it's pretty hard, and I'm going to show it to you right now. Well, I'll start with one ball, but it's so hard that I cannot do it even with one ball. So two balls is almost impossible, I think, to me at least. So what you're going to do, you're going to do, it, you're going to throw the ball in the air, like usually, like you usually do. You don't have to do it too much high, but try to do it blindfolded, without looking. At all, not not using your peripheral, not using your focus, nothing. Do it blindfolded and try to catch the ball. That's pretty hard. And if it's easier to you, you can try to throw the ball higher. And if that's easy for you, you can try to catch the ball like that. And if that's easy for you, you can use two balls, switching them in the air, catching them blindfolded. And if that's easy for you, you can do juggling blindfolded. But if you can actually get to those levels, it's when you're very focused and very precision. Anyway, I hope you like this video. See you next time.